Hello, this is uh, Walt Smith on Blueburn Rising TV. Now, the season may be over, but there's plenty to be positive about. If you're liking these videos, don't forget to get like below. Troll of the week this week is Pineapple Express. 5-3-2-4. Zabletta's not had a very good season. He looks so tired now. Think we have already seen his best. Now that, my friend, is a big call. I look at Zabletta and I look at the World Cup he had to put in right up to the final. And I also think of Zabletta's position. It's at right back. It's that high energy position. He's got to be back defending. He's got to be up the pitch. He's then got to be overlapping to put these crosses in. Zabletta's an all-action hero for us. He puts his head where others fit stick the boot. What player can you remember at City coming off with that many bandages on his head? Guy's an absolute legend. He's a warrior. I'll admit he hasn't been up to the standards this year, but then I think about the last six games Zabletta really came into his own. We started to see the old Zabletta back. As City fans, if we're going to throw these players to the curb, what are you going to be thinking about here is John Terry was practically out the door at Chelsea under Rafa. This year, if he's been managed properly, and he's played nearly every single game for Chelsea, and many would argue that he's been the best centre-half in the Premiership, but to write off Zabletta at such an early stage, you're going to sell Zabletta and you're going to sell our club. Quite sure, I believe. Akash Agarwal. Oh, and replace the bloody medical staff with people who can keep our main players fit for a change. I think you're doing our staff a massive, massive disservice because if you look at the amount of players that City had injured over this year, City had the joint third best injury rate out of the whole Premiership. I think City were just unfortunate they had key injuries to key players at certain times. There's not a lot of medical staff can do about an impact injury like uh, Aguero suffered uh, against Everton. But I also think that Aguero looks sharp now since he's come back than he has done in a long time. People will say that he'd been chatting with his mate Messi. They've been to see a dietitian in Italy. If you get these players starting to look after themselves and on top of that the medical staff at City are looking after them, I think you're doing them a massive disservice actually saying that our players are any more injury prone than any other in the Premier League. Game of Force, Newtown, LA. Hashtag blatter out. Now I'm going to be a little bit controversial here and I'm going to say blatter in. I know folks, blatter in. Turn this on its head. Why does Seb Blatter keep getting voted in? There's got to be a reason for that. Now I started to dig down into it and start to look at the reasons why the rest of the world is voting for Seb Blatter. And I came to the conclusion that Seb Blatter has done an awful lot for the world game. 2002 we had an Asia World Cup. 2010 we had an African World Cup. And then we take it, he wants to take the World Cup to places where it's never been. If you look at Africa as a continent, he's massively got the redistribution of wealth. He has taken it away from Europe to a degree, where there is lots of money, and he's invested it into groundwork in Africa and in Asian football. So we're looking at new training pitches, new HQs. For every pound that's actually donated to any of these African countries' football teams, FIFA will actually match it. So there's a lot of African teams that have benefited in a major way. There's a lot of Asian teams that have benefited in a major way. And he's also for democracy. He got voted in. That's the end of it. And people want democracy. Well, he got democracy. I did laugh the other day. Well, someone said England should have more votes. Why? Well, we've got 60 million people living here. Britain has got four votes in this. Europe's got 50 votes in it. And the population of Europe is about 750 million. 50 votes. And I thought, well, yeah, I can see that. India and China, who both backed Blatter, by the way, they have a um, population <laughs> of a third of the planet. They get two votes. If people want democracy and people want one vote, one FA, for whatever nationality it is, I'm afraid he's won and there's a reason why he's won. He's good to these countries that are poor and that redistribution of wealth has greatly boomed the game since it came into power in 1998. Well, I think that sums up another week of Walter's Glass Half Full. Now, if you've got any issues that you need a little bit of positivity injecting into, don't forget to leave the comment below and I'll get back to you. Oh, it's time for another. This is Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV for a knockout time.